welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today is September 1st and for me, that kind of really kicks off fall. Yes, I've already decorated my house, but today is when I'll start like my really good pumpkin treats and things that I bake. I have a fall dinner for tonight, just things like that. Plus it's the beginning of a new month, so I do have quite a bit of cleaning and things like that to do. So I figured I would take you guys with me while I get it all done today. If that sounds like something you'd wanna watch, stick around, hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's go ahead and jump right on in. Here's a glimpse of the to-do list. It doesn't look like much, but that right there alone is gonna take me quite a while. You'll see why when I get to it but I do wanna wipe down these counters before the groceries get here. rundown of the groceries bread eggs more milk because obviously this goes with dinners this week I need more half and half for coffee Pringles Declan's currently obsessed we were completely out of yogurt tubes bananas apples needed more butter for baking and cooking Gwen is currently obsessed with bologna I really don't know why but she loves it we needed some pancake mix because we were out. Brianna asked for this. That goes in lunch boxes. This is for a salsa chicken for tomorrow night. This Parmesan cheese is for tonight. This also goes with tonight's dinner. This is with the salsa chicken. This is the chicken sausage I'm using for tonight's dinner. This stuff is really, really yummy. This is for tonight's dinner. Tomorrow night, tonight. This one is for tomorrow night. One is just to put into the pantry. All the interruptions, my son keeps walking out half naked, my husband keeps coming through that door, just ignore it. Okay, so we needed more cereal. This is for that pumpkin creamer thing that I showed you guys, the pumpkin syrup, I needed more of that. This is for something I'm trying, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but that is just a play recipe, I'll let y'all know if that works out later. And then some cleaning and baking supplies I was out of, these two I clean with more than I use for anything else some Mr. Clean, some Tide Pods, and then parchment paper. But there is the grocery haul. We do still have like two boxes of cereal and a few more snacks in there. You'll see that when I clean out the pantry. And then dinner for the weekend, we have guests coming in. So I did not get the weekend's meals just yet. I put all the cold stuff away and now I've broken everything down before it goes in the pantry because we are cleaning that out, so why put it away? But it's basically in little categories as to where the stuff I'll be pulling out of the pantry is gonna go. I'm almost embarrassed to show you the condition of my pantry, but there and again, almost, because I really don't care. I'm transparent, this is bad. Just be prepared. All right, now, up here, doesn't look too bad. Then it starts getting into a mess, then a bigger mess, and then, oh boy, I'm sorry. This is what it looks like when your kids just decide to ransack your grocery order and throw it wherever they want to when you ask them to put it away, or you say, go get a bag of chips to go with your lunch, and they rip it open and just leave it there. <laughs> go get me a plastic bag, just leave the plastic bags everywhere instead of putting them back where they belong. Yeah, this is just what this is.
This is basically emptied out. The whole floor is emptied out and completely swept. Those I'm gonna go through real quick, but they are mostly fine. Hmm. This is all of the snacks that were on the floor. The majority of that was a Sam's trip and a big Walmart trip that just never got put away. And a few drinks that were on the ground and one box of cereal. And then all the canned goods, all the drinks, snacks, that's like the bread and bananas that go in a separate spot. That's more like rice and stuff that goes in a different bin, all the baking stuff that goes in a bin, and then all the cereal containers. This is where I screwed up, <laughs> and I'm gonna explain. If you've purchased oatmeal like this, little brand right here, I'm not gonna say out loud, they put the dates usually on the top, but if you look at the package, there's no date on the actual packages themselves. Well, this one I got from Sam's. I don't even remember when, I, how long it's been. I know it's been a very long time. There's no date on the box anywhere or on the packages. It was on this top piece. I didn't write it anywhere on the box and now I don't know if this is in date or not. Knowing me, I'll probably show you guys just the finished product here in a minute because this is probably gonna take me quite a while to figure out exactly where I want everything to go and to take all of those snacks out and find a way to organize them. So knowing me, we're just about to jump right into the after. And what felt like forever later, here is the finished pantry. It honestly didn't take me that long, just, you know, that's a little running joke. But there's some more water bottles for Tristan for this week. Those are all the chips from Sam's that I really could not put anywhere else. So that's just where those are gonna stay. All the snacks are completely refilled. I kept the apples in the bag because I do still have to wash them, so that was my way to remember that. And then all of the breakfast over here, baking stuff. All of my bins are completely reorganized up on top. That's their snack bin that's full of the rest of the stuff, like chips and crackers and things like that. And then all my cans and sauces and stuff are organized too. Seriously, this didn't take as long as I'm joking about. It was less than an hour start to finish and it's so much better, but now you get to see my trash pile. Yeah, there's my beloved trash pile. All of the containers that I took the food out of, the little pretzel bites, stuff like that. And then down on the floor is all the boxes I've been working on crushing. So the pantry is done. Now I'm gonna go and separate all the clothes out and do a load of the kids' clothes and probably move into their bathroom after that. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky when you took my hands and let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down The kids bathroom is its usual rack and then there's a cup of something over there from Brianna's bath I have to have to clean up so this is just a fast clean I am gonna scrub the toilet, I'm gonna scrub this I don't need to scrub that because I just did it and I do need to work on the floors in here because there's toothpaste about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies and you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy
bathroom's done and while the kids laundry is working before I can fold it I want to show you guys this little hack I saw on TikTok. it's from Dollar Tree and it's how to make a Halloween shirt it looks really cheap really fast and easy real fast I want to try a craft I saw on TikTok. this is just from the Dollar Tree it's one of their little wood signs some of their squirt bottles and any black shirt I wanted I'm just using a tank top I have from Target and I'm gonna put bleach in here to hopefully put that onto that shirt it definitely works for my first attempt ever doing this it's not bad honestly got one little bad spot right there but not too bad I love that shirt hack it is so easy and there's actually some wooden words at Michaels I'm gonna go pick up and make a few fall shirts but I'll show you guys those probably over the next couple weeks but I forgot while I was in the bathroom it is the start of a new month and what I want to do was soak the shower heads so I'm just gonna go do that and put the shower heads in some white vinegar in a bag put a little tie up there like with the little hair ties and that's how I'm gonna hold it up there leave it there for like an hour and take it down scrub it and I'll end it there but I've showed you guys that on my channel before I'm not gonna show you me doing it now in case I was confusing because I was trying to talk in between my little toddler screaming so it's just a sandwich bag some white vinegar and one of them little hair ties which I've got on my finger right here and you just put this up on the shower head pour this in close this up on it put the hair tie over it and just let it sit it's that easy on the list you saw I had carpet stain or spot on the carpet I'm not sure how I had it worded there's a spot on my rug in my bedroom it's gonna be a little bit hard to see because the lighting in here is not that great when it comes to the floor but I don't know what it is I don't know when it got there it's been at least a couple days and I don't have my really good good stuff I just have this one from the Dollar Tree, which is also fantastic by the way, but I'm gonna see if I can get it up. The mark in question is this right here. That, that's something I need to vacuum up. It's this black spot. I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel sticky or anything, but it's definitely a black colored spot on the rug. school we're home I'm gonna fold this basket of clothes right here while watching a movie I'm gonna show you what movie in just a second because there's a little fun fact I also want to share about that but I'm gonna get this folded and then I'll move into the pumpkin treat and the dinner for tonight I muted it because I don't want to get any copyright troubles or anything like that but those two right there are actually married in real life I found this out last year I just I love that little fact but if you even know what movie I'm watching or anything this is a tradition for September 1st but yeah those two married Cleaning part's done, let's move into the cooking part. Now I told you guys earlier, September 1st is when I kick off all of my actual like fall baking, fall treats, things like that. So of course I'm gonna start out with something pumpkin and it is only three ingredients. Now, I've showed on my channel before and my Instagram, there is a two ingredient pumpkin cake, cupcakes, muffins, whatever you wanna do. And it's just a box of spice cake mix and one can of pumpkin, mix it together and bake it. You could put cream cheese frosting, powdered sugar, anything you want over the top of it. It is fantastic. This time I'm taking these three ingredients and just adding chocolate chips and baking it in like a loaf pan. So it's more like a pumpkin bread or like a pumpkin almost like pound cake. Oh, that's kind of convenient, but set your oven to 350. Next step, go ahead and prep your pan. Just spray it down really good. And like I said, you can do this in a loaf pan, a bunt pan, a normal cake, cupcakes, you name it, whatever you want, that's what you can cook it in. Put the box of cake mix and the entire can of pumpkin into a bowl, and then you're gonna beat this together. It does make a very thick batter, so just be prepared for that. Crazy thick batter, like look, it doesn't even move. So, really thick batter. But at this point, you're gonna add your chocolate chips. You can either do half the bag or the full bag. It's really up to you. I'm gonna go with the full bag. I'm gonna put about two thirds of it in, mix it in, and then put the rest of them across the top once it's in the pan. And now just transfer that into there. I did a, a parchment paper line in here and I sprayed it too, just so I can lift it straight out of this pan instead of having to turn it out. But again, that's completely up to you. Now I'm just gonna put the chocolate chips, the rest of them, over the top. And then this will go in the oven 350 for about 40, 45 minutes or when a toothpick or a knife comes out clean. One side note, if you're not using the loaf pan and you're using a muffin tin or a 13 by nine or some other kind of cake pan, just 
change the time. Don't go for 40 or 45 minutes like I am because my batter is much thicker. Yours will not be that way, so start checking at about the 20, 25 minute mark. This is what the pumpkin bread cake thing looks like. So good, but now let's talk about dinner. You're gonna need pasta of some kind, up to you. Three tablespoons of butter, some cubed up butternut squash, sausage of some kind, you can use chicken, normal, that's up to you. Some shredded Parmesan cheese, baby spinach, heavy cream, sage, and nutmeg. There was no fresh sage at my store, so I'm using the ground up stuff. Boil water and cook your pasta according to the package. Put some olive oil in a pan and heat that up to medium high. Now my sausage links, I had a very hard time getting out of the case, so if I was going to do this again, instead of using it ground up style, I would have cut it into small diced pieces and just cooked it that way. Brown it, remove it from the pan. Water's boiling, pour in your pasta, and then use the same pan from before and put two tablespoons of butter in it to melt. Then add in your butternut squash. You need about three cups. You can use either the pre-cut stuff like I did or if you can actually get a butternut squash, just dice it up yourself. Put the sage in there, about as much as you want to taste. Mine ended up being about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. Reserve a cup of the pasta water. You're going to need this later. Then of course, drain your pasta and set this aside for a few minutes. Salt and pepper, the butternut squash, once it's tender, once it's like fork tender, then you're good for this step. Take it out of the pan, add it to the sausage, put one tablespoon of butter in the pan and a cup and a half of heavy cream. Bring that to a simmer. Keep it moving though so you don't scold that cream in your pan. Just keep kind of moving it back and forth. And then add about five to six ounces of shredded Parmesan cheese and get that in there till it melts. Add somewhere between an eighth and a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg to that mixture. Then add your spinach. Mine is cut up just because of my kids, but you can put the whole leaves in here. That's not an issue. And throw everything back in here. The sausage, the butternut squash, everything. And then I did notice that this pan was gonna be way too small, so I went ahead and put it back into the big pot that I cooked the pasta in, which made it so much easier to stir. This pasta was delicious, felt very, very fall. It would have been great with regular pork sausage. That still would have been good. My husband did say it was slightly bland, so you might want to step up your seasoning just a bit, but so perfect for the start of fall. But that's gonna do it for this one. My kitchen is not that big of a mess. I don't have a lot of dishes left to do, so I'm not gonna have you guys watch me do that. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you got tons of cleaning motivation, homemaking inspiration, whatever it was that you were looking for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one. Good night, guys.